Oh yes, we're back. You know what it is, messy ass garage cast time. A little bit of a raw real rant because everyone and their mom this off season, ever since the 2022 season ended, have been all up on the lion's ass. It's like the roar has been restored. They're gonna take the North back and never give it back for a long time. Oh wait, that was supposed to be the Bears. But I, I fully understand that Dan Campbell has that squad playing well. I, I like the moves that Brad Holmes made, even though a lot of people cooked him because of their draft this year. I mean, you came in with 6-18 and 18 and you exited the first round with a uh, part-time running back and an off-ball linebacker who doesn't rush the passer. I mean, Gibbs, Gibbs and Campbell are studs, don't get me wrong, but I don't know. Uh, I don't know, man. But yeah, everyone and their mom has already said the Lions are going to win the North. The Lions are going to do this. They're going to do that. They're ranked high in the power rankings, top 10 in most places. And I don't know. It's just like, I, I don't understand it. I really like, do people forget that the Lions started out at one and six last year? And now, yes, the Lions certainly gave the Vikings a game <laughs> at US Bank Stadium the first time around. It sort of is what it is, but I'm not ready to buy in. Like, that defense, even though they suture things up, they added some great free agents, uh, as well as they address things on defense, they're going to try and get after it, fully understand that, but I, I don't quite see it yet. I, I really don't. I think this is a team that's still in transition. I think that's a team in flux. I think Jared Goof is perfectly fine I, with Ben Johnson specifically. I think this offense is going to score points, but also, I mean, the cat's sort of out of the bag, where... The, the whole thing about the cat and mouse game is the off season where, is where teams play catch up, where uh, especially if you have a new coordinator, they're trying things differently. And it's sometimes it's hard to catch up to you in season because everyone's grinding week by week, but give them a full off season. And if you don't adjust, that's when uh, teams catch up to you. And that's what I'm concerned with to a degree with the Vikings where Kevin O'Connell first year as the, the head coach, the play caller, the everything. Now give, give teams a full off season. Maybe they'll find ways to shut down Justin Jefferson. Maybe they'll find ways uh, to uh, make Kirk Cousins not have the best season of his career. But I respect the Lions. I respect Ben Johnson. It's obvious that they play hard for Dan Campbell, but I think they should pump the brakes. And Lions fans have been through a lot, man. Uh, been through a lot where hope, uh, hope can drive a man insane. Where I thought about this before, because being a Vikings fan, it's high expectations and then crushed. High expectations and crushed. And I almost think that it would be better if I was just a Browns fan or a Lions fan. Just lowered expectations. Just nada there. But, I mean, the Lions fans, they're getting a taste this offseason of expectations and hype. Are, are, are a lot of them buying in? I don't know. Or are they just comfortably numb at this point? We're losing, losing, losing. We're going to keep on losing. We can't win a playoff game with Stafford and Megatron. All that stuff. But uh, the Lions are going to be tough. Don't get me wrong. But I'm not ready to crown the ass. If you want to crown the ass, go ahead, crown the ass. I I'm not ready to do it, man. But I still think that the Vikings, it's their division to lose. The Packers are clearly rebuilding. Uh, the Bears are more uh, style than substance at this point. I mean, the Bears may be fine in a couple of years. It ain't right now. It ain't right now. But... Yeah, again, I, I'm not ready to be kissing the Lions' ass. I think the Vikings are going to show up and show out. The Vikings are going to have a top three offense in the league. The defense is going to be super opportunistic under Brian Flores. And, yeah, li Lions are going to get better, sure. And they'll probably be aided by a non-1-6 and six start. But get ready for a fight, man. I mean, the Vikings, they won the division last year, 13-4, and four, wanting some more. We won't talk about the playoff game, but ain't going to give it up for free. Ain't going to give it up. Ain't going to let you down, baby. That's right. So, hey, Lions, Lions fans, bring it. Bring it. It's going to be a fun year, man. Can't wait to see it. But let's go. Let's go. Anyways, your thoughts are thoughts. Lions hype, it's a little much. It's a little much. Uh, let us know in the comment section below. Skull, no production value from a messy-ass garage.